Hey everyone, I'm back. I've just been out here walking around, checking out my rhododendron, which is kind of blooming out a little earlier than it usually does. I've been here nearly 10 years and I don't think I've seen it ever start blooming out in the month of June. So, been out here with my I don't know if you can see him. My trusty little fearless watchdog, Chico. So this does give me an idea for a future project, I think. But right now, I've got some wood turning I'm going to do. I am all healed up. I am, well, somewhat healed up. But I'm going to head for the workshop. See if we can get a turning done. Stay with me. Okay, I thought I'd start off with a piece of sapple that I've had kicking around the workshop. I measured it out, cut it so that it's nice and square and I can put it on the lathe for a nice handle. I did find a couple of catches in there. I'm a little on the rusty side. I haven't turned since the beginning of the winter. I've been pretty busy with work and uh, plus the freezing cold. It's hard to get into the, my workshop in the freezing cold and also it's hard to get in there in the blazing heat of the summer. But I do manage once in a while when I really have to. So I was going for a shape on this, just something really simple. I didn't want to uh, make anything too hard. I'm just getting back into the swing of it. So I said I'll make a nice small handle that will uh, be easy to get a hold of and something nice to grip. I was going to make it so that the end that is in my chuck was going to be the end that I was going to drill a hole into and I was going to use my drill press but at the last minute I decided well since I've got it on the lathe I might as well drill it this way. I've also got a lot of really good ideas for more projects uh, hopefully coming up this summer and also I am building up to my very first full epoxy turning and I'm going to do a nice size bowl of all epoxy resin and uh, I've got a few things to throw into it and I've got a really nice mold now that I can put uh, some epoxy into so that will be coming up very soon as well uh, I've also got some big round stuff out here now I'm gonna be doing some large projects on the lathe I'm hoping to get something on there for making my first walking stick or cane and I have got a nice handle for that that will be coming up here hopefully soon now I'm not real sure what size drill bit I'm using I had one that was just sitting there loose on my bench and I tried it out it looked to be the right size and I tried it out and it was the right size so if somebody that has made these before can <laughs> clarify what size that would be for for making the handles on uh, these cutters uh, feel free to tell me in the comments or unless you've got one different uh, for anybody that's maybe even a novice turner 
these came from Ruth Niles Bottle Stoppers. You can look her up. I'll leave a link in the description below. Ruth Niles has a lot of things on there that you can get. Pen blanks as well. And if you're, like I said, if you're a novice, there's a lot of stuff on here like these cutters that you can get that are very easy to make the handle, put them on, and you'd be real proud of it. Uh, also, uh, Carl Jacobson, he has been a really good influence to me. I've watched just about all of his videos and uh, actually he was one of the ones that actually sent me these cutters and contacted me about them. So I really thank you very much, Carl, for, for that. And uh, hopefully you enjoy watching this. <laughs> I'm not a perfect YouTuber yet, but I'm learning as I go. I'll leave a link in the description below for Carl's channel. He has so many really great videos that he's put up there and he's really good at it. So I really suggest you check him out and uh, also at the same time uh, maybe give a shout to Ruth Niles Bottle Stoppers. You can go online and see a whole vast number of items that she has for sale and uh, she will ship out to you. Now I'm just putting a little more mineral oil to the end where I sawed it off and, and uh, sanded it and I sanded it up to uh, 220 by hand made it nice and smooth. I'm just making sure that, that it's coated real nice. So now it's just a matter of attaching the, the cutter. Now I'm using a little bit of Gorilla Glue in the hole of it. It's not that I don't trust it, but in times like this, if you drop it, it could break or it could come off. So I would like to just put that little bit of Gorilla Glue in there to make sure that you get it screwed on there. And even over time, it doesn't start unscrewing and start coming off on you. So make sure that I get it on there really good. And it fit really nice. That was a perfect fit too. And it went on really nice and tight. It feels good. Get a nice grip onto it. They're really, really nice cutters. Ruth Niles is really good with uh, things like this. I really suggest you get a couple of these and try them out. Now I did make a second one out of the red cedar and this time I didn't show you all the traumatics of it and bore you with it but uh, I did make the shape I did uh, I'm showing it right now because I wanted to show you the shape and I decided to make the shape a little more into a beer bottle shape and I said well the guys would love this one beer and a pizza can't beat it so I turned the red cedar into a, a beer bottle handle this handle is just a slight bit longer and bigger around than the first one but it was just as easy to make I sanded it up to 600 grit and it really come out nice Now here I'm just sanding it right up to the 600 grit, finishing that off. And now I'll get the oil out again and we'll give her a good coating with the oil, which really brings this piece of red cedar alive. 
I could have put a finish onto it, but where it's going to be on something that could be around food, I didn't want over time cleaning it and washing it, you know, flakes would start coming off and, you know, you put a finish onto it. So I used a food safe finish onto it and uh, went with that. But when you first put it on, boy, does she ever have a nice shine to it. Really nice looking. So here I'm just going to make a little test fit to make sure. First one I did make a test fit, but I didn't show it on camera. But this one here I did make a test fit, and uh, she was working really good. So I'll take it back out, put the Gorilla Glue in there, a couple of little drops. Don't need very much. And then we'll put it back together. a couple of drops down in the end now when you screw the cutter all the way in then you can use the cutter to twist it right into the handle she works really good really easy to go in tightens up and she'll be in there hopefully for good and that's a really nice cutter. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. I've got some more stuff coming.